All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm doing my first video on DaVinci Resolve 17, and this is a really exciting one. They finally gave us a quick and easy way to do chroma keying, i.e. green screening. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do it in 30 seconds or less. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so as you can see, I have two different clips in here just to show you what we can do. And in behind it, I have this horribly bright yellow color just so you can see exactly what this is going to be doing. So how do we do the chroma keying effect? Well, it's simpler than ever in DaVinci Resolve. So all you have to do is go right here to the toolbox section, go under open effects, filters, resolve effects, and then we can just scroll down until you see the resolve effects key. And from there, we can drag and drop the HSL keyer right into the clip that we want to do the green screen effect on. From there, we just have to click on this button over here. By default, for me, it's set to transform. We have to change it to open effects overlay. And then on the clip that we want to adjust, we have to click on this effects tab over here. From there, we hit this pick button and select the color that we want to green screen out. So if I selected my shirt, it's going to change to this, well, yellow color. It's keying that out. If I wanted this green book over here, we select that. If I wanted this red orange base over here, we select that. But that's pretty much how we do it now. From there, we have this whole section down here to adjust it. Uh, make it more accurate to what we're looking for because I selected a shirt where a lot of the color, basically a lot of blue is in the background everywhere. It's, it's picking up a lot of it, but it won't look like this when you're actually using it on a green screen. So I'm just going to quickly reset everything and then I'm going to apply it to another clip that I have here, just so you can see what what happens if we were to, to apply it to more of a solid color than my shirt which is patterned and textured. So if I drop it right in here, I do the same thing. Let's say I pick this pink color here and now we can see it's selecting that pink color. If I select this blue, it takes only the blue, yellow, or sorry, this blue here turns to yellow. If I wanted this pink, I wanted this one and we can see that it is in fact working exactly as expected and really it's that easy to do the green screen effect in DaVinci Resolve now no more messing about in the fusion tab and if this video was helpful at all let me know in the comment section below I want to make videos that you want to see so let me know what it is that you'd like to see moving forward and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content coming up in the future until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.